If you haven't heard of the visible spectrum, you've probably at least seen it. It's all the different wavelengths of light we perceive as different colors. When we talk about spectrum for telecommunications, it's the same concept. The difference is that your smartphone or your laptop uses wavelengths that are too long for our eyes to see, called radio waves. For most of the 20th century, there was this belief that government had to control spectrum because it was scarce. But eventually, we realized that every economic good is scarce. Things like land and paper and ink are all in limited supply. And this is exactly why markets are better at allocating these resources than the government is. Like markets for other economic goods, markets for Spectrum work really well because they force people to make the most of what they have and give them incentives to use Spectrum efficiently. Markets also cause Spectrum to go to its most productive use rather than relying on the discretion of the FCC. We've been moving in the right direction toward market allocation, but there's still ways we could improve. We should make Spectrum licenses more flexible. Technology is changing all the time, and the best way to use Spectrum today might not be the best way to use it next year. We need to make sure that Spectrum can be repurposed or sold when things change. We should make Spectrum licenses last longer. Right now, they technically last only a handful of years, and there have been proposals to make them as short as three years. You can think of it like if the government were to re-auction your house every few years, that would make you reluctant to make renovations or build a lot of improvements. But with our future becoming increasingly wireless, we need the kind of long-term investment that will result from longer or maybe even perpetual spectrum licenses. Right now, the FCC still has broad authority to regulate speech and viewpoints expressed over the airwaves. This is a vestige of the old regime in which courts said the FCC is allowed to police content because spectrum is scarce. But now that we know that the scarcity rationale for regulation is wrong, we should make clear that those kinds of regulations are unconstitutional. Spectrum probably isn't something you think about on a daily basis, but you almost certainly rely on it. The regulations that govern spectrum rights will shape the future of wireless devices and wireless communication. That future will be a lot faster, more reliable, and more productive if we lean more on markets and less on government regulation.